Hello everyone, this is LEGO Toby, and today I will be doing a LEGO set review for the LEGO The Batman Batcave Riddler Face-Off. This is a LEGO set that was released January of this year in 2022, or November of 2021, at around that time period. And this set includes 581 pieces, as well as 6 minifigs. And as of right now, uh, retails for $80 in the United States. And the set number for this LEGO set is 76183. And, yeah, it's a pretty fine LEGO set for what it is, I'd say. Um, but this is the third LEGO set that I am reviewing in October because, I mean, there are, there are definitely some things about this LEGO set that are spooky for the Halloween season. And that's why I chose this LEGO set as one of the four sets I'll be reviewing this month in October of 2022. So with all that basic information out of the way, now let's take a look at the figure selection itself. First, we have here the Caped Crusader, the Knight, Vengeance, Batman himself. And it's a, he's a fine minifig. I'll cover his accessories when I get to the Batcave Legos itself. But as for the minifig here, um, it's an okay minifigure. He has decent torso and leg printing. And this is what his back torso printing looks like, by the way. And, yeah, but... My main problem with this minifigure is the way they designed his head. And, first of all, they used the 2013 Batman cowl helmet piece, and that just does not work well. It looks nothing like the new 2022 Batman cowl. And not only that, but the face printing is also just the same one we've been getting for Batman minifigs since 2012 as well. And if you're new to the Lego Batman theme, then this is pretty interesting, I guess, especially if you never knew what was underneath his cowl. But if you have been collecting LEGO DC sets for a long time, this is nothing new at all. And this is what his back face printing looks like with his cowl on. Like, it's just so common. Like, you can get the head printing and cowl piece from many, many earlier DC or Batman sets. And, yeah, it's not the greatest Batman minifig, I'd say, for what they're trying to portray here. That's all I gotta say with this minifig right here. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at Bruce Wayne. And I don't think any of the pieces to this minifig are exclusive, but they still work for him for what they are. Um, and the face printing, if I'm not mistaken, is actually a reuse of... Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of that one character from Harry Potter. Um, it, it was pretty much Lord Voldemort before he became Lord Voldemort. I don't know, I forgot the, his name for some reason. It'll probably come up later, but I think that was first used with that minifig. And yeah, it's a bit of a confusing expression on the front face print. And on the back face print, it's pretty much him, um, like, screaming or yelling. And you know, that's pretty fitting for what this is going for. And, again, um, like, the printing here is pretty nice, even though I don't think any of these prints are exclusive. Here's what his back torso print looks like. And, yeah, overall pretty fine minifig for what he is. And also, he does have a helmet piece as well. Uh, let me just try and, ah, there it is. And it, and, uh, let, and I, and it actually has a black head piece as a, in there as of right now. Let me just try and get it out of there. And, yeah, this is pretty much what he looks like with the helmet piece on, and it's fine, it's fine. So, yeah, aside from that, though, um, yeah, there's clearly not much else needed to be said about this particular minifigure. Next up, we, of course, have the main villain of the movie, the Big Bad. This is probably one of the scariest, uh, like, characters LEGO has made into minifigure form in recent years, the Riddler. Which, it is just insane to me that we actually got the Batman version of the Riddler in Lego minifigure form. And, yeah, this is an incredible minifig, I'd say. Um, there's a bit of dust on his legs. So, yeah, you can tell I've had this set for a little while. Um, yeah, um, he's a pretty fine minifig. Here's, and his front torso printing is really great. His back torso printing is fine. And he has a hairpiece. Um, this is what he looks like without the hairpiece. And he does have back head printing as well, so which is pretty nice looking. And for those who don't want to have this minifig with the hairpiece on, that's fine. 
But yeah, and I, I will admit he does look a lot better like this. And the hair piece is, um, it's definitely an interesting inclusion, I'd say. Um, and as for his accessories, though, he comes with a uh, typical goon gun. But the other two accessories, though, are interesting. As for, he also has a printed 1x2 tile that is a phone. And, um, like, and this is actually a pretty new print as far as I can tell. Um, so, yeah, very interesting. But he also comes with a, a TNT piece as well, as an accessory as well. And... Yeah, this is a pretty scary minifig, I'd say, and surprisingly accurate for what he is as well, for the most part. And, yeah, and you, and it's, yeah. So, now let's go ahead and take a look at Bruce Wayne's trusty butler, um, Alfred, which, the only real exclusive part to this minifigure is his face printing, which is what his front face print looks like. And his back face printing is him in a bit of a more joyful expression. And his torso printing is really common amongst minifigs. I believe the torso printing has been around since, like, maybe the early 2000s. And his one accessory is a Harry Potter wand piece in the form of a cane, though. Really awesome there. I really like that, personally. But aside from that, not much else interesting about this minifigure, though. And then we get Selena Kyle, which um, you can get in the $15 set based off of the Batman so, if you wanted to get a Selena Kyle minifig, then this is really not the set to go for. Well, okay. I mean, then you're you're not going to want to get the $15 set. You're also going to get this set. This minifigure has decent torso printing, front and back. And her face print, I don't think, is uh, was first used with this minifig. Um, but her front face print shows her, I guess, like, smiling. And her back face printing shows her, I guess, in more in like more of a mood where she wants to kick butt or something. So, yeah, overall, pretty solid minifig. And her main accessory is a uh, chain in black. So, yeah, not much else to be said about this minifig aside from that. And, of course, here we have what is probably my favorite minifig from this set, aside from the Riddler. Um, Commissioner Gordon, which this is a really, really great minifig, I'd say. Just perfectly, uh, they, they just perfectly captured the design of Commissioner Gordon in minifigure form from the movie. I think the torso printing is exclusive. I could be wrong about that, though. His leg printing, I know, is really common, though. But his face printing, I know for a fact, is exclusive to the set as of right now. And, yeah, it's a really, really great face print. His front face shows a generic, uh, I guess, uh, face, like a, and his back face print shows him a little more angrier, and, yeah, again, really, really great minifig for what he is, and his accessories include a pistol and a pair of handcuffs, so, yeah, that's pretty much the entire figure selection to this Lego set, so, yeah, now let's take a look at the uh, motorcycle build. Yep, the motorcycle build may as well be the first thing I cover. And you can pretty much grab Bruce Wayne and just have him ride on the motorcycle like this. Um, let me just put him on the... Oh, okay, that did not go well. Yeah, it's a bit of a fragile build, but for the most part, though, not entirely in... I gotta say, I honestly, and you, of course you can like drive it around, and you know what, I honestly really like this style of motorcycle build, because it's not, I mean, it's a little oversized, but it's not like ridiculously as oversized as like oversized motorcycles from like $20 superhero sets, so yeah, like, but yeah, it's a bit of a compelling build as well, like, I honestly want to see Lego do motorcycle builds like this a lot more often, and yeah, it's a really good build, I'd say. Um, but it is a bit too similar to the motorcycle builds we also get in the $15 Batman versus uh, Selena Kyle chase set. But, yeah, overall pretty solid build, but don't have much else to be said about it. So, yeah, time to go ahead and take a look at the real star in the main attraction of the show, the Batcave itself. And, yeah, it's a 
decent accurate representation. Let's take a look at the back computer first, which you can actually just completely remove, which I honestly really like that, but because I'm just keeping the back cave display or build like where it's at, I'm just ju I'm just gonna move it up a bit like this. And the back computer is gonna be um um, the first thing I take a look at. So, of course, we have a chair that you can spin around. And, of course, you can place, um, once again, you can place uh, Bruce Wayne in the chair. And just have him just research things, which is pretty fine. But that's not even, like, the best part about the set, though. Um, not yet, anyways. Um... And we also have a silver cup here, which is pretty fine, as well as a sticker of a keyboard. And there's also a few other stickers, like this one right here, of like some of like everything, like this uh, sticker of a Batman motorcycle, or like these files, and uh, this code, and a suspect. And over here we have, of course, a sticker of the Riddler. And over here we have a sticker showing off like the Batmobile, which is from another set. The Batman cowl and a Batman phone? I I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. But, yeah, a really cool way that was built. But then there's my favorite play feature of the Slayer set, where we have these 2x2 two two white tiles with stickers. There's supposed to be three of them, but unfortunately I'm missing one of them. And what you do is you grab this uh, magnifying glass with uh, that's transparent red, and it actually like reveal and it and these are actually like clues that uh, that you need a red magnifying uh, uh, red magnifying glass piece for and yeah and it shows up yeah it, and you can see this one has the head of the Riddler this one has the Riddler logo and there's also another one that says uh, to the Batman but that's sadly the one I'm missing and even on the computer there's one over here that. Um, reveals the 2022 logo for the Batman or the 2022 Batman logo like trying to uh, put it here there we go yeah so yeah that's pretty much all I have to be said about this build right here I'm gonna take that out of the Batcave as well and yeah it's kind of empty now isn't it well time to look over here where you can actually uh, move this or attach it again. And yeah, this is, and here we have another sticker that's pretty much like a map of Gotham. And like, it's like a connect the dots thing that reveals a question mark. And over here, um, this is where we get to the accessories for uh, Batman. Um, we actually have um, a grapple gun. At, which is a pretty simple build with not much interesting stuff to be said about it. And um, we also have a generic battering piece that, again, if you've been collecting Lego Batman sets, you'll probably have. And, uh, yeah, and over here we have this pretty generic computer build with a couple stickers. And, yeah, there's not much interesting stuff to be said here. And moving to the other side... Um, and moving to the other side, um, we have a table that has a bottle. And once again, you can detach th the, this like tool rack, I guess. And it just reveals a ton of tools. And you can close that up as well. Okay, I do not want to kick down the background like um, I have done quite a bit in my videos in the past. And there's also this, like I guess, oil tank or like refueling build that you can just do this. I don't know. You can detach this as well, it seems, since, uh, like, right here, there's, like, only a single stud. So, yeah, aside from that, nothing too interesting about that build. But now let's go ahead and take a look at... Uh, and now let's go back to um, the other side. And, oh boy, this is... Let me just try and... Uh, and over here, you'll notice that there's a hole, and that is actually there. Oops. <sighs> yeah, that was... knew that was going to be difficult to film. 
but, um, okay, I think I'm actually going to have to put this, my phone in the bat cave itself, so that'll take a few seconds. So as you'll notice in here, um, it actually reveals a couple studs, and that is actually to hold a Batman suit, like, as like a Batman suit display, which is pretty cool, I'd say. And, yeah, but aside from that, that has no real purpose. But also, on the other side, um, we also have this uh, door with a chain on it. And that, this is actually supposed to be a jail cell. Yeah, you know how, like, every Lego Batman Batcave set has a jail cell? Well, this is apparently the version of this Lego set. And because the Batman's more of a grounded, realistic movie, they didn't make it a generic, typical jail cell. They just made it whatever this is in. It's pretty interesting. Again, you have another sticker here. You can actually remove this golden chain. Let me just try and... Okay. Open it up, and I guess, like, put that part down. Because, yeah, it'll get in the way of the door. And you can, of course, put the Riddler inside of there. Just gonna... Uh, okay, here's a Riddler, and I'm just gonna throw him in there. Like, you know, like that. And, yeah, if you think that's the only way to put him in and take him out, there's actually another way you can do that, and uh, that's if I were to spin the back cave itself around. And there's actually a... Uh, build here that you can actually pull out and pretty much yeah get the riddler out of there for uh easier access and yeah of course put it back in there like that and um yeah i'm also gonna try and uh put the chain back to where it was I'm trying my best so yeah, that's pretty much all, like, the bottom areas of the Batcave. But there's also this area as well with a sticker that says Wayne Terminus. Terminus as, and there's also a clock print right here. And up here we have a couple lamp builds, and down here there were also a few others. Four others, to be exact. And, um, yeah. And, of course, we have the stairs leading up to this, I guess, uh, balcony area. Yeah, not much interesting there. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire back cave that has to that I have to say. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this down. Um, put my phone back on my tripod. And finally we can take a look at the instructions, which um at the very very Oh, uh, that was that that was bound to happen in this review at one point, but I was not expecting it to be from the instructions, but it is a pretty big instructions book, though. But anyways, um, the only real advertisements this instructions has that isn't the typical win advertisements is the advertisements for the other two, the Batman sets. And the only, but, and this one I have, this one I don't have and don't plan on getting. I'll review this one probably eventually, but not right now, though, or this month. So, yeah, I'm just gonna just put everything like this, and, um, yeah, um, this is pretty much, um, the Batman Batcave, and everything you need to know about it. And I gotta say, um... In comparison to the other Batcave sets we've gotten in the past, I'd say, this is, sadly, in my opinion, probably the worst of them, as much as I hate to admit it. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I mean, th there are some gaps with the build for this particular build and set. I don't think $80 is entirely worth it either. And, but... At least the figure selection is nice. There are some things that are nice about this set. But overall, it's not... But if you're a fan of the Batman, then this is definitely a Lego set I highly recommend, personally. And, you know, the figure selection is decent for what it is. The build... I mean, though it's not the best of the Batcave sets we've gotten, it still works for what it is. And, of course, it's surprisingly accurate to the Batman as well. So... Personally, I just give this set a two and a half star rating, and yeah, it's just my opinion. Either way, 
Uh, this is LEGO Toby. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.